the Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Peasants Forever. It's said there are pheasant hunting trips and then there are those bird hunts you've never experienced before. I'm headed for the latter. I'm driving in Nebraska, the southwest corner to be exact. If you know Nebraska, you've heard of the Cornhuskers, the football team. When the team scores, the whole state sings, there's no place like Nebraska. The song goes, where the girls are the fairest, the boys are the squarest. Well, I'm about to find out. My hunting partners are Nebraska's fairest of them all. Kelly. Kelly. Heather. Heather. Jenny. Jenny. Kelsey. Kelsey. All with Nebraska's Pheasants Forever program. You're the best looking hunting partners I've ever had. <laughs> Kelsey, you're in charge here. What's the plan here? This is a uh, tall wheat stubble. This is in our stubble program. We've got about 40,000 acres available for public access. We'll hit these fields and try and get some pheasants. And so it begins. Me and the girls with their dogs and Ryder, a yellow lab I borrowed from my daughter, Simone. Zoe, a short hair belonging to Kelsey, was getting ready to rumble. The limit's three. I only need three shells. You know what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna shoot three times and have zero. You know, they might be kind of over closer to that cornfield, and then we'll just come back around. All right, let's see what we can find out there. As I always like to say, ladies, there's plenty of pheasants for everybody. So I'll shoot first. <laughs> we are marching through tall wheat stubble. It's ideal habitat, cover for roosting, and plenty of food as well. Where's it at, so find it. She's picking up a scent. What you got, Zoe? Zoe's pretty birdie. Find it, Zoe. False alarm. Find it. Meanwhile, Hank the Black Lab was running with his nose alert. As I joined the hunt, and as I watched my hunting partners, it didn't take long to realize this was no pretend hunt for the sake of a camera. My female companions were as driven to hunt pheasants as any male hunters might be, maybe even more so. When you hunt stubble, you have to be moving. <laughs> you have to hunt it quick because it's easier for the birds to move. Like a small battalion, we roamed the stubble, kept an eye on the dogs, and kept moving, but to no avail. I wonder if they roosted here and they've moved out already, or you know, it could have been sent from yesterday too. It's hard to know. One thing we did know, it was time to do something different. Where to next? I bet we could just walk in this way. The team hauled out their maps and smartphones. So. Come clear up here to park, and you come across this way. That looks right. like a pretty good piece. Our next stop quickly was more inviting. Hens, hens were in the air. I think there's a lot more in there. It's just tough. They probably won't run around you much in here, but there's so many places they could be. So a great shooting demonstration over there. I don't know what that was all about. In Nebraska's abundance of public grasslands, it's easy to get discouraged as the birds played keep away, likely running around us. You know that because the dogs haven't lost their enthusiasm. Time to meet Hank. 
He is a three-year-old Labrador Retriever. He is my first bird dog, and it's been quite, quite the adventure. He does get super excited. You know, he wants to get out and get running right away. As long as Hank keeps going, we also have to keep trucking. My sidekick rider, the Yellow Lab, he was willing too. Find him, buddy. You gotta find him. Let's go. In vast grasslands and mild weather, the birds do have the advantage. Watching the dogs confirmed the theory. We were getting the runaround. There's nothing here, Zoe. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I was starting to get annoyed with her because she was on point. I'm like, knock it off. There's nothing there. <laughs> Good girl, Zoe. Clearly, it was time for a new game plan. Nobody said a television show about pheasant hunting had to be easy. Where'd they go? Up next, never give up. Rooster! Nebraska has all kinds of pheasants, but where did they go? Time to find out. Stay with us. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Waltons, everything but the meats. Benelli. And by Nutrisource. What's the old saying, when the going gets tough, the tough get going? Well, you're looking at some tough ladies. New fields, new hope. There's just scattered shrub thickets around, and so I think we just kind of choose a thicket to go towards and look for quail and hopefully oh, find some quail. Nobody had to encourage Hank. We got him as a puppy the day after Christmas, three years ago. And he is a quail finding machine. Quail is his game. Here. Find the birds. For sure, Kelsey wasn't tossing in the towel. I oversee a lot of the, the staff and work to create habitat opportunities for pheasants and quail and pollinators and help secure funding for, for conservation. So last year we started Beyond the Shot. It's just the, the ladies of Pheasants Forever. And we, we came up with the name Beyond the Shot just to help illustrate that there's a lot more behind hunting. We went out and you know just enjoyed being in the outdoors and learning from each other. We highlight it through our work and just hope to inspire other women to get involved. You know, we started the Beyond the Shot group, but it's also part of a, a larger national effort, Women on the Wing. You know, the same concept, there started to be these girl groups that would start hunting together. We liked learning from each other and we hunt differently sometimes. For us, it's not always about the limit, it's really just, you know, trying to get out. And if we see birds and, and harvest some, we're, we're thrilled. <laughs> we don't have to have our limits. <laughs> At the moment, going over our bird limit <laughs> wasn't going to be a problem. Where'd they go? But I was perplexed. In past Nebraska hunts filmed for the flush, there was no shortage of ringnecks in the air. Rooster! Oh, oh, oh. Quiet out! Oh, holy moly! And there's no shortage of grassland habitat for birds. So what's the answer? Well, I didn't have one. Nebraska is a solid bird hunting destination. I've even chased turkeys along Nebraska's side of the Missouri River.
And then, if you're lucky, more turkey talk begins for the final act in Nature's Show. I've been turkey hunting for a long time. That's quite a show, though. I just had to wait and wait, see what he'd do with that horse decoy. But <laughs> I think he thought he killed it. So, do you get the point? My luck always has been good in Nebraska, so what gives? And can it be changed? Coming up. When in doubt, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. We did, and bingo! The Flush is brought to you by Pheasants Forever, Carlson's Choke Tubes, The Shooter's Choice, North Dakota Tourism, and by Rufflin Performance Kennels. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Plan your adventure at NorthDakotaLegendary.com. A new day, a new field, a new never say die attitude. You ready, Hank? Oh yeah, he is ready to roll. <laughs> wait, wait. Got some newcomers, maybe our luck will change. Yeah, <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. We're all about it. We're gonna have some good luck today. I like your optimism. <laughs> you said it can only go up from here, right? <laughs> We don't have to shoot anything to have fun, right? We're, we're having fun. <laughs> All right, ladies, we're going to line up this way. We'll make one big line, single file. Then, suddenly... Rooster. Maybe our luck was changing. Keep pushing. Find him, Zoe. Good girl. Come on, Holly, come up a little bit. Watch Hank, he's getting pretty birdie over there. I think Hank's having the most fun of anybody here today, aren't you? You were just the happiest one here today. The happy mood is also contagious. Let's keep walking forward, folks. They're in here. Take it slow. Ryder was acting real birdie. Yes! Sorry, come. Find yourself. Nice shot, Ron. <laughs> you know, talk about being discombobulated when your dog goes on point and you're expecting a rooster or a hand pheasant and a quail goes up, you go, what, what, what? Good boy. Good job. Hank got it. Did Hank retrieve that? Yeah. Yeah, Hank. Good boy. He <laughs> found the bird. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, your dog's on point. Watch your shooting range, girls. No bird, no bird. Teamwork. Just a younger, younger bird here. Good bird for, for the vest, that's for sure. <laughs> and my dog retrieved it. Told you Hank's a superstar. At that moment, we all felt like superstars. Finally, a bird in the bag. Gosh, I should have had that other one though. That was an easy shot. Like good soldiers, we kept on trudging. Hey! Hen, hen, no bird, no bird, Hank, no bird. Funny how one flush, one good shot changes a hunter's spirit. Even if followed by another miss. That was way out there. Hen, hen, no bird, Hank, good boy. As the only man in the group, I began to realize that my female hunting partners were marching to a different drum. I think 
it's really important to have a women's group because I think we hunt different than men. We like to be out for the camaraderie. We like to be out and just in the field and we don't care if we don't get a limit every day. We're just happy to see everybody else be successful and get to see their work, their dogs work. Honestly, I do it for the dog. I just love watching the dog get excited, jumping in the, the grass after the birds. It's just exciting. <laughs> Time to meet Zoe. She is a German short hair. She's seven years old now. She never gets tired, which can be bad too, but, <laughs> it's, but yeah, hunting wise, she can just go all day. Up next, a chance meeting with a Nebraska landowner and a pheasant zealot leads us down the road to birdie heaven. Stay with us. Memories coming up. Pheasants Forever's mission remains to protect and restore America's wildlife habitat. Join Pheasants Forever today and your membership will help us to create healthy habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Please help us make a difference today that will last forever. Another place, another field, another march. Never say never, right? All right, ladies. Kelly, be ready. Just keep walking. <laughs> Damn it. Zoe, come. Oh, run over there. Please, sir. Down, I think. Odin. So is there anyone that didn't shoot at that? <laughs> I didn't shoot, but I yelled I got it. <laughs> yeah. Nice shot, Ron. Thank you. Just what we needed, an attitude adjustment bird. Got us some fun. Oh. That was an awesome shot, yeah. Jenny. Awesome photo, too. I carry a camera. I've carried a camera for years. I love taking pictures. I've always said that I like to hunt with my camera too. We were walking grassland developed by pheasant loving landowner, Jared Burke. We put the pieces in over time, and I don't know, probably have 150 acres or 200 acres of habitat, but not all in one piece. It's CRP, it's next gen. You know, it's just a combination of all the different programs that between Pheasants Forever and FSA programs have all put together over the years, and uh, so it's been it's been good for us. And they're right in front of us. I always ask people, what is it about pheasant hunting? You know, and everybody's got a different reason. I think your dog's on it, Addy. Bird up, too low, safety first. Oh. Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> it's almost a love-hate deal. I just love to hunt them, but man, they can really frustrate you, and it's just such a challenge. I just love to hunt them. <laughs> Frankly, it was my turn to be mostly, well, just a spectator. Come on. Yes. Come. That was awesome. 
Lacey and Kelly, there might be something right up here. The dogs are pretty birdie. Holly's always pretty birdie. Oh, both the dogs. Oh. Woohoo! In the excitement, Holly enjoyed a very special moment. Who got that one? It was all Holly. Her very first pheasant. <laughs> I was like, yes! <laughs> You can hear me yell across the field. <laughs> so ends Holly's 10-year quest to drop her first ring neck. And so ends our no <laughs> Nebraska drought. Why do you do this? Because I love to hunt pheasants. <laughs> that simple. It's that simple. <laughs> They're the most magnificent game bird there is. At day's end, my hunting team would all agree, ain't no bird like a ring neck. Challenging hunt, tough bird, oh so beautiful, and much, much more beyond the shot. <laughs> <laughs>